Praise the Lord, hallelujah, glory, honor, adoration be unto the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who is who was and who is to come. I want to thank God for your life and bless God for in faithfulness, for the way he keep me and you two alive, for see yet another time. I want to welcome you to a daily program when a leadership pathway to leadership development. And I believe, say, by God's special grace, God on the use this teaching for transform genuine, the hearts of genuine leaders. Leaders the way they want for bring a change. Leaders the way they want for see transformation in their families, their communities, even with your nation. I want to welcome you. And I want to let you take your Bible, your pen, your notebook, your ledger, your jotter for we teaching. So any side where you they bow your heads down, we will now go to God in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much today. We we'll give you the glory. We we'll give you the praise. We we'll give you the honor. We we'll give you the adoration. You are a faithful and a loving Father. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Father God, now you set up leadership. And you set up leadership for fulfill your mandate for mankind. And without you, Lord, we're not able to do nothing. Therefore, Father, have your way in our lives. We give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty and victorious name we are pray. Amen. Now, once more, I welcome you to the program Pathway to Leadership Development. Today, we will look at another very important topic in the leadership series. We are titled Leadership Ability without the attitude. Today, we will look at leadership ability without the attitude. Now, one thing I want to let we all know, and I always say to you, until we get proper leaders with the suffering of humanity, not go reduce. Until we get the God kind of leaders, the suffering, the poverty, the failure, the backwardness, even the church not go able for progress without genuine leaders, them, we get godly character and attitude. Because no leader no go able for rise above a attitude. And at that make in leadership in any institution in the world, leadership is very, very important. When Moses be done serve and in your time of leadership it be done done. It be very much concerned that enough for left the children of Israel just like that, without any good leader, we go lead in people. And so Moses pray, and he pray and ask the Lord, because now be a man of vision, now a man we be. Now man will be the field for in people. He go through so much for let he pull the people them out of Egypt to the Kenya land. And so when in your time 
of leadership be done done, it will be a very big concern to Moses for say, would that go now come for lead in people them to the Kenya land? In Numbers chapter 27, I will read from verses 15 to verse 17 to verse 18. When Moses, in terms of leadership, done, he became very much worried and concerned about would I go lead the nation of Israel to the promised land? So he prayed. And as he prayed, God answered Moses in prayer by giving. Israel, the right kind of leadership. You know, when the right kind of leadership day, progress go day, development go day, poverty go minimize, premature death go minimize, vision go day, when the right kind of leader, they lead the people. In Numbers 27, verse 15. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, So Moses now pray. He was a man who be very much a loving people, and he began concerned for the people. Let the Lord, the God of the Spirit of all flesh, set a man over the congregation which may go out before them, which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. Verse 18. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee, Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is a spirit, and lay thy hand upon him. Verse 19. And set him before Eliezer the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. Praise the Lord. So we see here that when Moses in term of leadership be done done, he be very much concerned about whether I will lead in people them to the Kenya land. And so Moses pray. And when he pray, you know the God will they serve. Now God will they answer prayers. As Moses pray, by the time he did not pray down, now God tell Moses, who that go be in successor? Who that go take after him? He tell and say, now Joshua, he go take over in leadership. And thank God, when Joshua take over the leadership of Moses, now Joshua cared the children of Israel go to the promised land. Although so many battles have been there, so many challenges have been there, but Joshua fight all the battle and overcome and subdue all the enemies of Israel. That is not a sign of good leadership. Today, many people then get the leadership ability but they not get the attitude of a leader. And in leadership, your attitude is more powerful than your reputation. Why? Now because no leader not go able to rise above in attitude. The attitude in leadership, they talk about your character as a leader. Your honesty. Your uprightness, 
your integrity. Many people there today, where they're in leadership position, but when you look their life, you look at the, their practices, you look at the things that way you did do, then you go no say, this person he only get the ability, but he not get the attitude. And in leadership, now your attitude now he go determine your altitude. That is how far you go go in life. Now your attitude in leadership, now he go determine how successful you go become as a leader. Now that make Jesus Christ, when are we ultimate leader in Acts chapter 1, verse 1? I go read. Acts chapter 1, verse 1. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. Of all that Jesus began, what did he begin for do? And they talk about in character, in attitude. Of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. So we see what he made Jesus Christ in leadership is so powerful. What he make him for be so unique. In a leadership life. Now because. He put the doing force. Before the teaching. Your character. Your attitude. Now in. Now the pillar. Where they hold. Or uphold. Your leadership strength. So we see that. True leadership. A make up of two things. Number one, who you are as a person. Who you are, your character, your attitude. Then number two, how you think. It greatly matter. Who you are, Jesus Christ first began to do before it begin for teach. We attitude as a leader now ingo sustain your leadership life. Your attitude. Who you are. And they talk about identity. And they talk about who you are. You as a person. Now that make David the psalmist in Psalm 25, verse 21, there are things when are in they preserve a leader. There are things when are in they uphold the leadership. There are things where they make a leader for be successful. And David, the psalmist, he threw light on that thing day. That thing day. Or that thing day. He say, Let integrity. Let integrity. And uprightness. Preserve me. For I wait on thee. Let integrity. And uprightness. Preserve me, for I wait on thee. The word integrity, it comes out from a Greek word, we mean integra. Integra mean one, wholeness. And not divide, 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 divide. It means oneness. Wholeness. He talk about character. Somebody will not change, change. One thing about integrity, as I say, 
integrity, they talk about wholeness. And at that, they make a difference in the life of a leader. Let people know you for one thing. You know, they talk something today. Tomorrow, you turn other thing. Then the other day, you turn so. The other day, you turn so. That means, say, you're not going to for make a difference. And at that today, neither among leadership. Plenty of people today, they get leadership ability, but they don't get the correct character. They get the ability without the character, without the right attitude. Now, on another way to make the, the letters in the alphabet not the change, how they can call the letters in the alphabet. The letters in the alphabet then call a character or characters. They call the letters then, the 26 letters in the alphabet. How then they call them? They, they call them characters. You know what that means? That means they know they change. A na e b na b if you go china na e you can england na e you go japan na e you can africa na e you go asia na e so now i made them call the alphabet characters any leader where one for be successful in life if for be a man or woman of character. Now that make Winston Churchill he say something. You know what he say? And I quote and exactly what he say. He say, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Winston Churchill one of the leaders then in those days, you know what he say? He say attitude is a small thing. Your character, you can look and say it's small, but now in they make a big difference. Now in they make a big difference. Somebody, your character, now it will make the difference between you and the people the way they lead. The pastor, your character, now it will make a big difference between you and the one the way they lead. And at this today, now the church even don't miss. That we get today, preachers and we can say, do as I say, but don't do as I do. So, your attitude and your character is more powerful than your position, than your regalia, where they were. And so, now that make David in Psalm 25, verse 21. Make I read again. Because this don't become a very, very big challenge today. That today, people, they get charisma, but they lack character. Many people today, when they're in leadership, they some man sabi talk, but they lack character. Where we look today, how we institutions, they don't go down. The church is there today, right? Not they carry that kind of fire. Where they be the carry in those years? Now, because we get men and women, then today we get charisma that is, they get gift, they get the ability, but they lack within integrity, they write within, they lack within honesty, they lack within uprightness. And now, integrity and uprightness now in the sustain your leadership, now in they keep you going. He say. Let integrity and uprightness 
Preserve me, for I wait on thee. So, Jesus, the greatest leader whether ever live, is so concerned about the character of a leader than the waiting, than the gift. Even today, we political waiting. In fact, when we see the, the kind... We, we are in a complete, complete box up, mix up, confusion. Because you know, they know would that they say this, would that for belief, would that not for belief. When a leader lacks integrity, when a leader lacks character, that leader they don't destroy in leadership. Now, waiting and waiting, they preserve and they keep the leader. Now, what till they make the leader, it become outstanding and successful. Number one, integrity. Number two, uprightness. Number three, truthfulness, honesty, sincerity. If then things they are so, they're missing in the life of a leader. That person, they, it just, they, now it, they become a comedian. When he talk any word, would I go listener? Would I go follow him? Nobody not go listen him. Nobody not go follow him. My brothers and sisters, today, we till do hamburg with institutions. We get people that today we get leadership ability, but they lack the character. Then get leadership ability without the, 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 the right attitude. So, Jesus in Luke, turn your Bible with me to the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 39. Leadership ability without the attitude or without the character. We know they see preacher there today with the Sabi preach. Ah, if they hold microphone now, yeah. But when you look their private life, go into their marriages, you look the area of handling finance, you go say, hey, this man of God will be hold this kind of microphone. Where they put crowds so, now, in lifestyle, this. So, if you see today the church, not the able, the church not the able for do as much as what it's supposed to do. Now, because we get leaders, them, we get the ability, but they lack integrity, honesty, and uprightness. And so, Jesus Christ. A more concerned about the attitude of the leader than the ability of the leader. Because, as I don't say, waiting, uh, wasting church ill, he say, he say, attitude is a small thing. Integrity is a small thing. Character is a small thing that makes a big difference. Your attitude na ingo differentiate you between other leaders them. Na ingo make you become outstanding. Na ingo make you do a work, you left a mark, a legacy will not go be easily wiped away. And so when Jesus Christ take the twelve Apostles, where they be they now in school of training, the leadership school, where be they with them for three years. It be God for say this to them, and now the same thing it is said to we today. Which it is said to we. He say, 
and he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? He said, Blind man can lead in company, blind man. They ought to not go further inside a hole. Of course, then go further inside a hole. If the blind lead the blind, who side they ought to they for them? Now inside hold and they for them. Shall they not both fall into the ditch? Verse 40. The disciple is not above his master. The student, not the ever grow above in teacher. What did that mean? The nation not go grow above the leaders in another nation day. The people that inside that local church, they not go ever grow higher than the leaders them. The picking that inside the family, they not go ever grow higher than the papa and mama inside that family day. So if you see today, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Everyone. The people that wait they under your leadership, then will turn exactly like you. So if the leader corrupt, every system with that leader did they lead, it they corrupt. The people they under around they corrupt. The one they around that they corrupt corrupt. The decision the way they take they corrupt. Everything it they corrupt. If the leader, na person of integrity, about 90 or 90 something percent of the one them, where they day around them, then will be men and women of integrity. So then we find out for say, everything in this life, it they rise and fall on leadership. And so now that make Moses, he be very much concerned, now that make a pray, he say, Lord, raise a leader. We will go before them, we will come in with them, we will go out before them, and we will bring them in. Moses was very much concerned for the nation of Israel. It may not say the success of a leader, not the success of the people. The vision of the leader, not the vision of the, the people. The weakness of a leader, not the weakness of the people. If the leader if they live a reckless life, it go the people that also under in leadership. Now so they go live. Because the disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. The people then will turn like their leader. So for let you occupy leadership, you're not a person of integrity. You can change figure. You can maneuver your way. For God get your way, it will affect the people the way they lead. Now that make in the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter twenty-five, it, uh, chapter twenty-four. You know what in the Bible say, Isaiah twenty-four verse two. And it shall be as with the people. So with the priest. The congregation not go ever rise above the pastor. If the pastor now womanizer, when you look most of the one the way they did under that con way they inside that church day, you will find out for say immorality will be the order of the day. If the pastor inwardly look that congregation, the members then they become worldly. If the pastor of the church if now pass away the fear of God, when you look at that congregation, they, you will see, right, 60 or 70 percent of the fear of God in the life of the people there. And it shall be, and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest. You see, eh? As with the servant, so with his master. 
as with the servant. How no more the politicians enter inside the country. Naime Kusi say the corruption is done inside the nation every angle you pass because the leaders are corrupt. They know they talk to, they how, 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 they want, want money, they're not sincere. Let read them again. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest. As with the servant, so with his master. The servant, not they ever grow above a master. The lifestyle of the master, not the servant, they copy. As with the maid, as with the maid, how the house gear turn, so with her mistress, na so in Madame Tan. Hey, this Bible. As with the buyer, so with the seller. You know they go na tongue way, they hear the woman, then they say, how we buy na so with the sell. How they sell and give them, na so they sell they come. They can't sell and give the populace. As with the seller, as with the buyer, so with the seller. As with the leader, as with the, as with the lender, right? So with the borrower. As with the taker of usury, the one way they go trust, so with the giver of usury to him. How the bank, they trust you. Now, so you said they come, <laughs> you go trust other people. So you see the reality of this Bible? Like how the papa turn, how the mama turn, now so the pikide and the turn. Whether now it's spiritual pikide or biological pikide, now so your life turn. How I know in Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 44. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 44. What did he say? Because this issue of leadership, all we suffering today, right? It tied down to we will not get the correct leaders then. Leaders that we not sincere. Leaders that we now for the self then they they not care, they're not busy, they can cut na television, they lie, go na radio, they lie, go na international news, they lie. Can such leaders then go able for change a community or a nation? No, if they did they. Now for their own personal gain and benefit and pocket. So this is now one of the greatest challenge we will get in the 21st century. Where we not get leaders then, we then get the correct attitude. Leaders then we get the correct character. Let me read to you. Behold, Everyone that useth proverb shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. As is the mother. How did mama turn? Now so the girl pick it and turn. If mama na mama na ashawo, you watch the girl pick in them. They all the two ashawo. Let me read them again. Behold, everyone that useth proverb shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is our daughter. Who. Make it put it out this way. As is the as is the pastor, so is um, so is his members. As with the president and the cabinet minister, so na so the people them with the under the tongue. As the CEO turn, now so the people they under him, they turn. Let me read them again. Behold, 
Everyone that uses a proverb shall use this proverb against this saying, as is the mother, so is her daughter. As the manager day, now so the work man then day. So that means say, no institution, not they grow higher than in leadership. No institution, not go succeed outside the leadership of that institution. If the leader corrupt, the institution, the people them, then go corrupt. If the leader is sincere, so progress, it depends on the character and the attitude of the leader. Now we we'll go back to Psalm 25, verse 21. Psalm 25. Verse 21, we get so much today in this life where people not even concerned about. And until even we Africa, until we come back to these things, believe me, all the minerals that we get, right? So a man will just take up leadership for can loot and go. Where they can then thief, 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 they loot and go. But they're not able to bring any change at all. Now, what do they see in we communities and today, in we countries and today in Africa? Now, looters that we get. Because Psalm 25, verse 21, it say, Let integrity. We will not ever put and make somebody leader. We not get integrity. We not get character. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me. For I wait on thee. Two things or three things where they preserve a leader. One, integrity. Straightforwardness, honesty. If that paramount chief, where the leader chief them, not a honest person, not a person of integrity, a not get character, where una the subject them, una don't suffer, una go die go na dirty in poverty. Now that make. Jesus Christ, when are we ultimate leader? You know what he say? Any leader will for succeed. You for be a man of integrity. A woman of integrity. You for be sincere in your life. You forget the attitude where Christ get. You forget the kind of mind set where Jesus Christ gets. Remember, Jesus Christ came, he only trained 12 apostles. But then 12 apostles there. And he only three years training. But he raised them as men and he raised them as men of integrity, honesty, and uprightness. Till today, we see the benefit from their leadership life. So for let you lead, you be a man of charisma. Oh me charisma. You get gift, but you let you lack character. You not go go no side in leadership. So leaders and they then are good orators them. They sabi talk. So man, they lie per una. Where they even, they see even in the politics. Where they say election, they come. So man, they build bridge. Usai watano de. They make a uh, airport. Usai land no de. With the mud. They sabi talk. And all where you find out. Now lie through no de inside.
Now, make with the suffer so. Africa continent. Now, very few Africa countries eh, with the leader they sincere, we make them they enjoy. But when we look at the poverty rate with all the minerals eh, we go put in the continent of Africa, waiting our problem today, we get leaders, eh, we get the ability, but they lack integrity and character. Not in other way that they tell you, say, for you go believe. If they tell you, say, do, don't clean, open you do. Come on, I do. Peep. If we do, don't clean. Because I tell when they say, do, don't clean, I me do net. Now, they will not do so. So then, we think we preserve with communities, with institutions, them. Now, integrity, uprightness. In Philippians chapter 2. Verse 5. And so Jesus Christ, now in Philippians 2, he tried to tell you the secret of being a successful leader. For let you succeed as a true leader, you forget the mind of Christ. Philippians 2, verse 5. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. I will read Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Any leader we want for lead like Christ, where you want for left a legacy, You for begin think like Christ. You forget a positive mind. Jesus Christ only lead for three years. But today, in success of the leaders and way he trained, they, they speak so loudly that even after 2,000 years don't go. In life still they speak. Now that make, I be tell you say, true leadership, it make up of two things. Number one, who you are, your character. No leader not go rise above in attitude or in character. Who you are. Then number two, how you think. Your mindset. If the mindset of a leader is negative, there is no way a way will lead them people then they correct. You know why? Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. It says something. As he thinketh in his heart, as the leader they think, so is he. How normal the leader they think. Now so in life they, now so in leadership they. Uh, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. My dear brothers and sisters, many people get the capacity to lead, but you need a transformed mind. You need a transformed mind. Your life, your mind, your life for be transformed. You need a change. Why? Because the blind not go lead the blind. Outside there or two go for down. Now inside whole. If a leader with the lead, not a person of integrity or character, honesty and truthfulness and uprightness, you know what he go do? What he go do? The one the way they lead. Since they don't know the, the road where they forgo, and in the before them, in the lead them, 
Now in the you know, they go dump their all inside hole. Jesus say, Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his within, his master. So a leader will for lead and lead the people well. You for first of all deal with your life and your character. If you're not a womanizer, you get for first of all deal with this woman woman business. If you're not possible, away, you want want money, 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 money business. If you not don't deal with them, you not go lead that institution they or that country they go no side. Always you go fend. Now for yourself and you got friend there and you party them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? That's my question. Somebody where in lifestyle not correct. He go able for can lead the people there the correct way. No. Verse 41 of Luke chapter 6. And why beholdest thou the mood that is in thy brother's eye? How you go able for see the wrong things where they are the people their life where you they lead, where you, your life is full of the wrong and the negative things. Now, they, the problem don't come out today. How you go able for correct you, you, you picking, where you papa, you, your life is rotting. How mama go able for correct in gear picking, for let it dry properly, where mama, they were there, half have gym pecs before the picking them. How we politicians they go able for correct we, the citizens, them, when they're not the talk to, when they life they're not straight, when the things are within they do, they're not correct. How them we able for correct the wrong things they're inside the country? So we now see how just they go and make fool of we self. Let us read verse 41. And why beholdest thou the mood that is in thy brother's eye? This is not a question now. Where Jesus there? How you go able for see clearly? The dirty, where they not somebody else in your eye, when your eye is full up with dirty. But perceivest not the beam that is in thy own eye. Now, question in the eye. How you go able to see clearly, for correct the wrong things, eh, where they not somebody else in your life, when your life, the wrong things are where they did, you not grieve for correct, and your life is full of all negative attitude and character. How you go able for correct things? Eh? So, now see how they go and make. Eh, Full of we serve today. Verse 42. Either how canst thou say to thy brother, how you able for tell you, brother, brother, let me pull out the moat that is in thy own eye. How you able for go tell you, brother, say, brother, open your eye, but I pull your own dirty force now your eye. When thou within, when thou thyself beholdest. Not the beam that is you're not able for within for detect the dirty within a young eye. Then you want for go detect the dirty in other people there. Yeah? When I see the commission of inquiry, <laughs> where, where, where politicians and they set up waste of resources because how you able for set commission of inquiry, how you able for set up anti corruption where you say send a part of the corruption. It go work? No. Now for no more. Now comedy show the place so in we African countries. Just but just few, including we your country today. You know they go for go set up commission of inquiry or you they go for go, you know, one for go correct something that somebody else in your life, where your life is full of that thing, where they not the person in your life where you want for correct. Pastor not go able for suspend. The, 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 the senior pastor not able for suspend, the junior pastor for immorality, where he get a young girlfriend in a corner, where the junior pastor know about. That thing they go work, he not go work. If he venture, say, he they go suspend that pastor, where they know side in girlfriend, or that church member, they know side the pastor in girlfriend, they, you know what they happen to that church? That church they, they scatter. You know how Jesus Christ calls such people? They call them hypocrites. They say, thou hypocrite. 
That is, something went wrong with your life. Correct your life first before you're able to see for correct somebody else in your life. So today, right, when they look for the witch man, they let the car for car correct, we know. You will get your host, now you for sweep inside your host. Somebody when they come out outside, now visitor, they come. Now visitor. So we see the damage where we don't do to we families them, the church, we society, we communities, and even with nation, lack of integrity, uprightness, and honesty today. Now, I don't bring we can to the kind level of suffering will they suffer. So, with all 34 different kinds of minerals in the country, we get leaders then today, yes. We get leaders then in the church, yes. We get leaders then today in the family, yes. We get leaders then today in governance, yes. But, whose kind leader that we get today? And we, why we do what we do so today? Now, because we get leaders there today, we get ability, but they lack the character or the attitude. And so now I make Western Church ill, he say, attitude is a little thing that makes a difference. How that leader go able to make a difference now in community, in character, in attitude, integrity, and uprightness. Today we they see poverty, failure, backwardness, lack of direction. What would they see today? In with families, in with institutions, weighty responsible. We get leaders there, we get ability. But they don't get within. They lack the character. They lack integrity. We they see today with leaders and they go now the air. Then they lie. They know they talk to. And again, we even the people there again, we say get we own. Whether they lie power, we would clap for them. Instead of we frown at what did they do. And so as a result, we they suffer. Any leader we want for lead well, as I don't say in this life, that leader day, if a first of all would that it be, and how it they think that I want. Any leader wait for lead, wait for succeed in this life. Now, a leader number one, we don't find a purpose in life. Then number two. Now that purpose they, they give passion. Now in the inspire other people there for Falaram. A lead away for succeed, a forget the right attitude. Then a persevere in doing what God don't call him for do in a leadership. My dear brothers and sisters, all the leaders, them, the great leaders, them, we don't succeed in life. When we watch them, now be men and women of integrity. They are men, they were men and women of character. But today, now such men then, with nation, they don't lack. Such people, we community not get. Such men, the nation, they don't lack today. And so as a result, we see, say, many things don't go wrong. Many things don't go wrong. What do you make things don't go wrong today? Now because 
We get people there. We get leadership ability. There's a bit talk. If some man gives speech now, yeah, you go clap for him. But the things that we then they do, they're not correct at all. When we see men like Samuel in the Bible, a man of integrity, a man will stand before Israel and he declare himself, he tell the people then, where he called the nation, he gather them and he tell them, he said, if any of them go accuse me, would I include, I don't take, would I in wealth, I don't sleep with, would I in property, I don't take, the whole nation, they're not able for his finger against Samuel. Now that makes Samuel now be one of the great leaders in in your time. We be ever don't live for serve the nation of Israel. The man, he was a man of integrity. Today, if only we could decide for all become men and women of integrity, the suffering of the people it will minimize. What it be make Samuel in picking them, they'll not be able to lead well. Now because there be lack integrity. I read 4 Samuel chapter 8. 4 Samuel chapter 8. I will read from verses 1, 2, 3. And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Somewhere he make in picking them for become leaders. Now the name of his first son was Joel. He make in picking them for be leaders. The first picking, he be named Joel. I think now he put inside, uh, he put her over the Ministry of Finance. Come and see, he go cripple thing. And the name of his second, Abia. Now, Abia, he put over the Ministry of Education. They were judges in Belsheba. He gave them all sensitive position. Verse 3. And his sons walk not in his ways. His sons. The man in picking them, the non no follow the papa in footstep. The papa not be ever mixed by corruption. And his sons walk not in his ways. Someone have been a leader of integrity, but turn aside after Luca. Luca me money. Plenty of people today and took bribes. Some were not one day take bribe. But turn aside after money. Some people they take over leadership. All they want now money, where they cut their loot, 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 and left on a, in abject poverty and go. And took bribes and perverted within judgment. Verse 4 now. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah. Now the elders then gathered. They say, Pa, although you don't put your picky there, all in top, top position, but will not agree. They come with him. That is Samuel not old now. And said unto him, Behold, thou art old. You don't old, sir. 
and thy sons walk not in thy ways. You picking them, the kind way that they do, not to your kind lifestyle, the father. Now make us a king. We will not want them. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. We will not want you picking them. What do do? They not get integrity. The position always they take now for themselves, put money then at their pocket. They not get one fear for God. Then they creep, creep all team. Pass somewhere. We know say, you lead we well. You live an exemplary life before we. But sir, we don't want you picking them. You picking them, not ever follow your footstep. They sabi talk, but they not get they lack character. They sabi dress, but they're not a people of integrity. And so the Bible says that Samuel, right? He began for stand because in life. You know, when you become a leader of integrity, people then go one for their around you. You go feel for your people, but not to this generation now. But good people with a father leadership, then I like the children of Samuel. You know, Samuel, in 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 3, it is now before the whole nation. I wonder how many leaders then today, including religious leaders, we will be able to stand and talk like Samuel. When the people then come, they gather themselves, they come to Samuel. They say, We want a leader. We don't want you picking them. You picking their life, not correct. You picking their corrupt, then are humanizers, then are looters. We don't want them. Chapter 12, now verse 1, I will read. Your attitude, now your leadership. We see in church, you say, attitude, now a small thing, but now they make a big difference. What thing will make a big dif difference in your family? Now your attitude, your character, your honesty, your integrity, your uprightness, your truthfulness, your sincerity in your heart. And Samuel said unto all Israel. So when Samuel now take the position there, would I make minister of finance? Would I make minister of health? Would I make minister of land? Would I wait and say, oh man, be just a kapu kapu with their girlfriend them. Now the people then gather. You remember what I read unto you, not also? Chapter 8. Now the people then gather. They come meet and they say, no, we don't want you picking them. Then a bunch of corrupt group of people there. We don't want them today. We don't want them tomorrow. They're not going to lead we. Because they're not going to care, we go no side. Any leader we corrupt, not going to care, the people then go no side. Whether they're a religious leader, they're not going to care that church, they go no side. Whether they're a political leader, they're not going to care that. They're not going to care the nation or the institution. They're not going to care and go no side. I go read. And Samuel said unto all Israel, now he said, when they come to her now, now he said, Israel, behold, I have hearkened to your voice. In all that you have said unto me. He said, the people then gather their camita. They say, Pa, we don't want you picking them. They want the way you don't talk, you don't go give positions there. Oh, we don't want it because then a bunch of evil and corrupt and liars and do bless people. We don't want them. And Samuel said unto all Israel, Behold, I have hearkened unto your voice. He said, I don't hear you in a voice. Utuna don't can tell me. In that you have said unto me and have made a king over you. He said, when I don't say so, I don't hear it. Verse 2. And now behold, the king walketh before you. And I am old and gray headed. He said, now I don't get drunk again. I don't old. And behold, my sons are with you. Right? I don't put me picky there. All. And I have walked before you from my childhood unto this day. He said, I don't walk before Una. You see a leader, eh? 
a genuine leader, a sincere leader. He said, I don't walk before now. Throughout my lifetime, from where I'm young, I've been there in the temple where I've been young, where I'm small, with Eli in Peking them. Then they thief the offering, and not one day thief offering. Woman, then they go, woman, then they come, woman, then they go, woman, then they come. You know, no say today, these are the practices of we leaders, and today, religious and political leaders. Some man they buy land, some man they build house, some man they make petrol station for their friend, they be hotel for their friend, and all that thing. Then they, no wonder they suffering this. So, somewhere now they say within, they say, when I know me. For we are small, are they with Eli, the priest, with him picking them? I walk in integrity and uprightness from my childhood unto this day. Verse 3. Behold, here I am. He say, Una look me. As I stand before Una, a whole nation. Behold, here I am. Witness against me before the Lord. He said today, let anybody among this whole nation, let it is a hand against me before God and before his anointed. Number one, whose ox have I taken? Now, would I in cow or in goat, I don't go take by my power or by false means. Or whom have I defrauded? Now, would I, I don't thief. I not thief government. I not thief institutions. I not thief nobody. This is now a question then now. Would I go accuse me among una or a whole nation? Whom have I oppressed? Would I don't use my power upon wrongly? We know they see today where leaders and they overuse their power. No wonder plenty not they succeed. Of whom have I oppressed? Or of whose hand have I received bribe? Now, would that a hand, I don't receive bribe. To blind my eyes, they are with, in other words, bribery, they blind the eye of a leader. If they make another see. If they make another do the correct thing. Any leader will lack money, pass mark, he can lie. Then they bribe him. He can do any kind of thing. That leader, they, they not go become a visionary leader. And not go okay, carry people then go no side. I will restore it to you. He say if all the things that I don't mention, would I wife I don't sleep with? Would I cow I don't thief? Would I goat I don't thief? Would I fall I don't take? Would I hand I don't take bribe? If any of una as a nation when I go stand today and accuse me as a leader, he say I go restore, I go return and back give una. And they said, verse 4 now, you know what did the people they answer now? What did they say to Samuel? And they said, thou hast not defrauded us. You know, one day thief we. One day you not sleep with we for them. Nor oppress us. You know, one day oppress we. You not ever use your power forcefully against we. Neither hast thou taken out of any man's hand. You know, not want to take bribe. Now this whole nation will not arm. You not take any bribe. Verse 5 now. And he said unto them, Thou hast not defrauded us. Verse 5. And he said unto them, The Lord is witness against you and his anointed is witness this day that you have not found aught in my hand when I not find any dikidaka inside me. And they answered, he is witness. So we look at it today. My dear brothers and sisters, 
all the damages we don't go wrong today in we communities, we churches, we families, we various institutions. Then, now as a result of we get leaders, then we get charisma. There's a bit talk and lie. Leaders, then we get a bit dress. Some they're even highly educated, but they're highly educated, corrupted. Leadership ability without the attitude, without the character. Some not even get shame that they can talk something today. Tomorrow then deny. But you know one thing now. The, the internet don't make her now. Now ICT age with this so now. When you they talk something that they record them. Wait, 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 you can't for can turn her over for talk something different. Then play her back. You hear your own voice, you see your own face. Say, now you be talk this, then you try for deny her. Now you this. Now it don't happen now. We don't make some leaders they don't disgrace or leaders they don't lose respect before their community. Some papa don't lose respect before their picky there. Some pastors there, some men of God there. Wait till they be preach yesterday and today they can't then deny the turn and other things. They don't lose respect before their congregations then. So your attitude now your leadership. You get we get leaders them, we get charisma, then get ability. But they don't get the correct character. And now that make you find out for say, Moses in Fadelo. We not be Jethro. Jethro been get for one Moses about who that they if or choose for be leaders. Not ever choose somebody because of in charisma if the person lack character. Now suffering no more you they bring calm. Backwardness, like what you they pass so suffering, suffering, suffering. Suffering. In Exodus chapter 18. When you go choose a leader with the ability, it's a bit talk. But now a womanizer. It's a bit talk. But now a man will lack money. He can do anything. Forget money. When you take such leader or leaders, you place them in a position. Now, so so cry, cry, go day. Now, poverty go day. Some man will die before their term. When you take such leader, you put them over that church. Now, a matter of time, that church they go scatter. The glory of God, it will depart from that church. It will depart. And this is now one of the greatest challenge today where we get. Because we get leaders them with their ability and not match their attitude or their character. And so when Moses it be overstretched with the leadership assignment in Father Law, we not get through. He tell us, say, Moses, if you continue. This kind way. Now you want green. Now you want to serve. Now you want to teach. Now you want to counsel. Now you want to do this. Now you want to do that. He said, Moses, you go die before your time. And so, what do you go do? Choose men. But not to any kind man them. Moses, you for choose men them. What do you say now? In Exodus Chapter 18, verse 20. Your character, your attitude, neither your leadership. If you see it all awesome, it don't done. Now, noise no more you they make. As we see today, plenty just now noise makers them. Because no leader not go rise above your integrity. No leader not go rise above 
in character or in attitude. I read. Verse 20. Okay, we'll take her from verse 19. Harkin now unto my voice. This is now counseling now. Now I get to the Gito in son in law, when Moses, when I be the leader of Israel. Harkin now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel. He said, Harkin unto me, voice. I will counsel you. Waiting will be the counsel. And God shall be with you. He said, God will be with you. Be thou for the people of God's word. That means, say, when you take over leadership, not to for yourself. Moses, the leadership position where you get, not to for yourself, not for the people. Be thou for the people to God's word. That thou mayest bring the causes unto God. I read. And that thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws. You go teach the people them. Principles. And laws them. And shall show them the way we are in they must walk. You teach them. Let them serve the way they lead so. Let them learn for respect the law. And the work that they must do. You show them what they for do. So leadership not just about regalia. Moreover. Thou shalt provide out of all the people, Moses, men of truth. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people, able men, men that were able, such as fear God. If somebody he educate enough fear God, he will dump that community. Men of truth. Men, the way they talk to, they love truth. Today, we get leaders and we get ability, but they lack character. Men of truth. Men, the way fear God. Men of truth. Hating covetousness, not to people that we want to want. And place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, and rulers of fifty, and rulers of tens. Hmm. So when I see who side we miss them, today, we made the suffering baku, make a read from the good news now. You see who side we miss them? Verse 19 in the good news now. Now let me give you some good advice. Dana Jethro now they advise Moses. And God will be with you. He said you want to let God deal with you? You want to end your leadership well? It is right for you to represent the people before God. And bring their dispute to him. So that means say, when you become a leader... You are representing the people before God. You are not God in representative. You know, say, Boku leader, they know they think that way. Even if you are a bank manager, you they represent the people that would care they want to go to that bank before God. If you are a prime minister, you they represent the people before God. If you are a president, you they represent the people before God. If you're not a counselor, you're not an honorable minister, now you're not the apostle, now you're not the bishop, you do represent the people before God according to Exodus 18, verse 19. Verse 20. You should teach them God's command and explain to them how they should live and what they should do. So leadership now, for let we live with life in such a way that we for show the people them what they for do and how for live their own life. 
Because they don't know. Now that make a leader not for be a blind leader. A leader you like for be an example. Because we learn in Luke chapter 6 say, if the blind lead the blind, who side then go for them? Now inside whole. Today we education the inside whole. We health ministry the inside whole. The all area the inside whole. Minds the inside whole. Everything the inside whole. We churches them as well. Then the inside whole. You should teach them God's command and explain to them how they should live and what they should do. But in addition, you should choose some capable men. You see, eh? Some capable men. And appoint them as leaders of the people. Leaders of thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. Number one, they must be God-fearing men. Not to any kind leader. Who can be trusted? Not to lie, lie. If you're not a leader, people not able to trust you. Believe me. You go up, you can't up. Believe me. You know they do anything better. So leadership is about trust. Let people then trust you towards them. Let people then trust you with their life. Let them trust with the resources given unto you. Even with the men of God, the women there inside the church, you know they tamper with them. What about the church money? Some pastors that can even take the church money, then go rent guest house and hotel. Now they then they care the very church member then go. Hey, people that they see them, then go trust you. They must be God fearing men who can be trusted and who cannot be bribed. Who cannot be bribed? Not a person. We want, 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 want. Let them serve as judges for the people on a permanent basis. Let them become leaders. So that means a leadership not for any kind of Jack and G. So we see, say today, if the leader a lack character, if the person lack character, is not fit for being a leader. It no matter if na Cambridge University it come out, it disqualify for being a leader. So we now know say that three things they make somebody where they qualify for being a leader. Number one, a leader for be God fearing. You know, say leaders and they today they need fear God. And when you know they fear God, you mean say you go free for my treat you people? No. Number two, a leader for be trusted. Any leader where people they're able to trust you what you can call, you lie, you turn figure, you change this, you turn that one day, you not go do well for you people. And a true leader, wait for last. In order to take bribe. Mm -mm. So we see here that your attitude and your character, now in your leadership. No leader not go rise above in character. No leader not go rise above integrity of life. No leader not go rise above honesty. Of character. And so we see, as we don't read in Psalm 25, verse 21. We see now within within church, you say, within Psalm 25, verse 21. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. The within within church, you now say, attitude. Is a little thing that makes a difference. We are seeing perverseness today in leadership, in the religious circle, the political circle, the community circle. And until we go back to the things they are, the poverty will continue to ravage with communities, the setback, the backwardness. 
The one that will not for die, go na dirty before the time. Until we get men and women of integrity, we are going nowhere in this life. You go tell me back, say, wait till Pastor Mambubi don't they preach that true thing. Until we get leaders them with the selfless. Leaders the way they fear God. Leaders the way truthful. Leaders the way honest. If not, not tell me say you they be bridge. If you be bridge, you know they talk to that bridge they not go last. Not tell me say you they be schools and university. Not to the issue. Your life. Are you truthful? Not tell me say when they be banks, when they make so, when they do so, and all them things and they. If when I build all them things and they, now two things they preserve, even the things they want they build. Number one, integrity. Number two, uprightness. When I know they see today, that the institutions they say where they build, because then the leaders they not live their life. Now the same thief thief life, the people they where they under them they. They, they learn. Where they build the office, then put the laptop there, then they thief them. Then go supply ink, then go thief. Then supply uh, paper, then go thief. The table, they wait for the office, they can't go to their house. Anything where they supply, then they thief all, they clear all things. So they will ask self, say, why would they go and fool self? So they're waiting at the most important thing in leadership, your attitude. The blind cannot lead the blind. So that means say you the leader, now you for sure the brightest of example. Your example, now it will make you succeed in your leadership, your leadership, your lifestyle. Now, it will make you succeed or you fail. What he made Jesus Christ succeed? Because he began first to do before he began to teach. People, they learn more by what they see you, they do. That what they see you, they blah, 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 they prophesy, they say, I see that woman, they in Nika, na green, and waiting, because this now, don't come on now. But when you look at the person, where they see the vision, you look into in private life. You look at what it they do. It not match the name and the title where they carry. So we attitude, we lifestyle before the people that will they lead. And so now that makes Jethro he one Moses. Not just choose any kind of people that are normal. You make them for, for make them for be leaders. But the one them. Way for lead. Therefore, be number one, God fearing men. Therefore, be number two, men of truth. Men will hate within. Number three, they hate covetousness, not to want want man them. And when you get such men for lead, my dear brothers and sisters, such men will bring transformation in their families, in their society, in their institution, in the church, in the mission, with them. They enjoy good day, not that family day, and that community. So, we see in church, you say within, attitude is a little thing. Some of you say your attitude, your character, no matter. It looks small, it looks tiny, but now in they make a big difference. Even among other leaders, eh, you just turn on integrity. Let them know you say you're not a straightforward person. You're not a God fiery person. You're not a person where, where you love the truth and you stand for the truth and you go say the truth. If it comes for die for that truth, let them cut your truth. You're still ready. You maintain such a leader. You go able for excel. You go bring change and transformation. And you go bring joy and fulfillment to the people there where they lead. How I know in the book of Proverbs 29, verse 2. When leaders, they will get character, they lead. Leaders, they, men and women, will get integrity. Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. 
But when the wicked Biaret rule, the people mourn. When leaders them, we get character and integrity. Leaders them, we know the truth, they love the truth, they stand for the truth, they believe the truth, they stand for the truth. Leaders them, we not a money, money minded leaders, womanizers them. Right? If now leaders of integrity and uprightness, what will happen in the community? Let me read again. When the righteous are in authority, the people go rejoice so. But when the wicked are at rule, the people mourn. When I not see cry today, you go to the village self. Any side you go, offices, them, market centers, them, communities, them, all sign as also cry. You know even they know how to survive the next day. Life is so hard. It's so difficult. So they're waiting wrong. We not get leaders then. We get leaders that we get ability, but they lack the character. And so as a result, now that make we day, we say we day so today. So now I make your attitude, your character as a leader, a more important than your regalia, a more important than your title. Because what you do, no leader not go rise above in integrity or in character or in attitude in life. And so as a result, if we not change with mind, we not change with lifestyle today. Life not go ever become be better for we people there. But who go still continue for die and go hell? We pick it there. But who go continue for go into drugs? Because plenty don't lost the hope of living. But me and you too, we for remember say leadership now from God and now God don't choose and put we. If we don't, they do the wrong thing today. We can decide for repent and change things them so that we go do the things them way better. Let we bow our heads down and go to God in prayer. Papa God, we did not even. We tell you plenty thank you today for this great privilege and this great opportunity where you don't give it. For Lord, we really you want. Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Papa God, today we people then they suffer. Missions and churches that they suffer. Because we get men them. We get ability, but they lack the character or the attitude. Lord, have mercy on we today. We all, we the occupy leadership position. We call on you today, Lord, for let you show mercy to we. We don't damage with communities, uh, with institutions, the church, the missions, the nation, because of the wrong character. Papa God, have mercy on we. And help we today for, for work on the wrong things in our life. Help we today for Lord correct the wrong them. Forge with life. Purge with spirit, purge with soul, and purge with body. Make we for be men and women of integrity. Make we for be men and women of godly character. Make we for be men and women of godly honesty and uprightness. O oh Lord, help with that Lord. You go help, help with for Lord be. Papa God, more their leaders that other people go look up to we. Give we the grace, Father, for Lord, we live the life we go bring a change and transformation. Now with communities and with people their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we just give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty and victorious name we are prayed. Amen. God bless you. See you next time. Have a wonderful time.